Hey guys, what's up? It's Bonk from ProGaming.com, and we are here with Alex again, and we're checking out the brand new MMO mouse. So Alex, take it away. Let me know what's up with these mice right here. Okay, well this is the bad boy here. This is the Rat7, and uh, I'm sure your audience is already aware of the Rat7, best reviewed mouse in the world, the Cyborg Rat. 98% uh, from PC Gamer Magazine, 10 out of 10 from Maximum PC, IGN's Hardware of the Year. Guinness World Record winning mouse. So the Cyborg uh, Rat range has been incredibly popular for us. This bad boy here, is the MMO7. This is the latest breed in the rat lineup. And it's a, it's a love letter, if you will, to an MMO audience. It's been designed to take everything that you know and love about the Cyborg Rat, but add on a whole heap of features, making it ideal for MMO games. So the first thing that we've done is, well, we've upped the ante to an almost incredible degree. You've actually got uh, 13 buttons on the mouse itself that are completely programmable. Now around the side, this little button here, this used to be the precision aim button, where you'd press and hold and it would slow down the cursor movement so you could get the ideal sniper shot. Well, you can still do it, but it's now called the 5D button because we've added a rocker switch. So you've got five levels of directional movement on here. Mm -hmm. So you can program each of those to do something different when you're playing MMO games. So it's a five-way switch there. Now before we had three cyborg modes. This is the little mode switch. And you can see when I press that button, it scrolls through a different color. That puts it into a different mode. Okay. Now with the standard Rat7, you could program each of the buttons to do something different in each mode. You can do the same with the MMO, but now you've got this button here, which is called the shift button. Now, when I press the shift button, it uh, effectively it doubles the amount of modes. So I've got like purple and then shift purple. I've got red and then I've got shift red. So I've now got six modes. Wow. So if you do the math, you've got six modes, 13 programmable buttons. You've got an astonishing 78 programmable actions that you can recall on the mouse at any one time. It's insane, 78 programmable actions. So if you're playing something like World of Warcraft, you don't need the keyboard anymore. You've got 78 programmable actions. We've also got something very cool. This is called action lock. These are my action lock buttons. I'll show you how this works. If I press the action lock, you can see the RGB backlighting. It turns to, to green, which means I'm ready to latch on. Okay. To latch on, I'll press the button again. Now, blue signif uh, signifies that we're now latched on. And what that means is that if I'm traversing large areas of the landscape in an MMO like World of Warcraft, I don't have to hold down the mouse button. The computer now thinks the mouse button has been held down permanently. So I don't have that finger fatigue of having to constantly hold down that mouse button when I'm running through the landscape. I'll just press that to go off again. And I can do that on either, either button that I want as well. Uh, you can even adjust the RGB backlighting to any color that you want for, for latching on or off. So auto, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's absolutely an amazing new feature of the mouse. It also comes with a, a bespoke plugin, a World of Warcraft plugin, so that when you're playing World of Warcraft, you can click on a little cyborg head. It brings up a, like an interactive spell book, and it allows you to drag and drop spells from the game and map them onto any of the 13 action oh, nice. buttons. So you don't have to go through this complicated setup procedures that yeah, you used yeah. to do. Uh, uh, once again, you've got uh, 30 grams of removable weight. You've got a solid metal construction. You've got the little Allen uh, key here at the bottom of the mouse. I don't know if your camera can get that. So once again, just like the standard rat, I can actually take that out and use that Allen wrench to actually adjust the length of the uh, thumb piece as well. I've got that removable palm rest that I can use to adjust the length of the palm rest there as well. So all of the functionality of the Rat 7, which, uh, but just the feature count and the button count that's been upped to an incredible degree. So what's the DPI on this mouse? Oh, absolutely. This is a 6400 DPI, twin-eye laser engine, state-of-the-art DPI. That's awesome. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? It's great. Pretty awesome. So the brand new MMO7, guys, is going to be shipping, I think it's uh, around 100 bucks, 129.99, and uh, it's shipping very, very soon. Awesome. Thanks again, Alex. It's no always problem. a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Never a chore. <laughs> <laughs> so for more CS covers, make sure to stay locked right here on ProGaming.com. Problem?